right, everybody. Welcome back. So I did a little bit of uh, organizing, a little bit of reading while I was away. So see some of these leveled up a little bit. But, uh, and a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, landscaping. A little bit of yard work. So let me show you what we got here. So we got this all organized here. Here's weapons, locker. It's going to be my clothing locker and, uh, containers. Electronics. Anything that I have, like, little projects that I'm working on. Medical. And books. I also have my food stored up in the uh, refrigerator and uh, we're severely depressed. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably uh, probably go eat something that'll make me happy. But uh, we're going to go and see if we can clear out the streets between here and the gas station to the uh, to the south. Let's see here. Uh, what can we have that will make us happy? Yeah, we'll have a muffin. And a juice box. Otherwise, we just need some cigarettes. Still have not found any cigarettes yet. Have the lighter. Don't have a cigarette. But I think we'll find one today, hopefully. In our, in our travels. Eh... Take another soda here. There we go. All right, let's get going here. So my sleep schedule's been a little off, off kilter. Because, you know, basically I only need four hours of sleep per game. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just walk this. I'm, you know, my... my oh, you know what? I did hit this house up here off camera, and I grabbed a bunch of books from there. So let's... uh throw those in here first. It's like, why am I, why is my book bag so full of stuff? Uh, oh, hold on. We don't want the box of nails. Let me search, or do by category here. Why is material, that's weird. Oh, literature, that's why, because it's a different category. I got you. Alright, so let's do all that except the box of nails. Throw that over there. Found a baseball bat. That's kind of cool. Brings back memories of the the old days where that was sort of the ultimate weapon. That uh, spiked baseball bat. That used to be the end all be all. Or be all end all. Whatever it is. So we put. Uh, I just grabbed the bucket. I don't know why I grabbed the bucket, but I just grabbed the bucket for the heck of it. And we'll throw that revolver over there as well. I guess the, uh, the bucket could probably go in into this uh, locker right here with the rest of our tools. There we go. Alright, we'll throw that over there. So far, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to keep that lighter with us so when we find uh, some matches, we'll be ready to go. I have a trash can I'm using right here just to get rid of anything like this uh, pop can. Just throw that over there. Other than that, yo, you know what we need to do? We need to board these up first. Yeah, we need to board up these two windows. So I'm going to need to... Uh, I think I have a... Am I still carrying an axe as a backup? I don't think I am. Right, let me grab one of these axes. These hand axes. Where'd they go? Oh, I had a hand axe. Oh, it's over in the tools, I bet you. There it is. Well, I want the hand axe, probably. For no particular reason. Didn't I have a hand axe? I thought I did. Oh, well. We will take the... Uh, Regular axe instead. And they'll take a saw. And they'll take the hammer. And a box of nails. And we should be good to go. I'm going to cut down some of these. Uh, cut down some of these trees over here. Make some planks and go from there. Let's do that first. We'll probably go uh, clear out the uh, rest of the area tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's... There we go. We got a little bit of... We got some forest over here. I want to cut down all my cute little saplings. Of course, it wouldn't be bad to clear this area. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. 
just to keep it clear. I know it looks good and all, but uh, honestly, probably a better idea. Probably a better idea to uh, go ahead and clear this area out just so we have better visibility. All right, so there we go. Grab some of these logs. Actually, you know what? I think I can just saw those into planks, can't I? Let's just do that real quick. Oh, we got three planks for each of those. That's going to be just about perfect. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Now I can put four, but uh, I think we'll be happy with that. Yeah, maybe this won't take that long. Unless it wears me out. All this manual labor. So let's get the uh, box of nails opened up here. There we go. Now we should be able to barricade. Ah, not too bad. And we'll just keep zombies from wandering in. Just have a little surprise when we come home. We'll leave the uh, glass there. this one up. We could always replace the windows if we wanted to. Maybe we'll get around to that. Actually, I went in or did I interrupt it? Yeah, now we got two. I think in the good old days, used to be uh, just three. Three planks, and now you can do them on both sides, inside and outside. Alright. There we go. Well, let's do a little bit of uh, yard work around the area here, and uh, basically just clear out any zombies that happen to be in the area. I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see here. Let's put the hammer on the belt, just in case I need it as an emergency backup. But I'm going to go up this way a little bit. Because I think I, I went down this way and killed a few down here. Not too many, just a few. But I just want to make sure we don't have any creeping up on the perimeter here. To surprise us in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, we got a few over here. I'm probably going to take care of this little group right over here. And yeah, maybe this guy. He looks like he might want to volunteer for a warm up round. Here we go. He's got some matches. Hoping for some cigarettes, but uh, hey, take what we can get. I need to find some antidepressants. And a couple good sheds might be worth something. Hello, anybody want to come this way? Here we go. I think we got one. There we go. We got a volunteer. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Make sure nobody else is creeping up on us. There we go. Who's next? Thank you. Yeah, these guys are just a little too close for comfort. That did a trick. Take that watch as well. Yeah, they're kind of walking away. I think this guy's coming for us. Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, we got like four of them coming, I think. Should be fun. Oh, my axe, or my pickaxe, leveled up a second time. Let's 
So I think it's like resilient pickaxe of shadows or something. Does that effect? I'll double check it here in a second. Who's still alive? Oh, it's these guys. Another one. Wow. Normally at the start of the game when I'm looking for watches everywhere, I can't find them. I'm just finding them on everybody. I can't I can't break that one down. It's not considered electronic, so. Let's see here. What my is my axe called? Robust pickaxe of the shadows. <laughs> yeah, see the conditions though. It's holding up really well. Let's go uh, deal with these zombies. Hello, zombie. What you got sticking in your leg? What you got sticking? A hand fork, of course. All right, who's next? Who wants to be next? Hello, miniature horde. Swinging around. Last one. Is that all of them? No. Ooh. You are late to the party, sir. I'm going to destroy that hair. That beautiful hair. Our body camp, our body count has got to be getting up there by now. So I'm gonna have to do a quick check on that. Let's read that real quick. Add it to our, add it to our uh, main map. Get rid of it. Some glasses. Uh, that's a West Point. We've already looked at that one. Boxers. Come on. Anybody got cigarettes? Come on. Scissors. No, not much help, folks. All right, there's a digital watch. We'll take that one. Oh, nightstick. Yeah, I think I'm... Yeah, what the heck, let's take it. Just so we have variety. I didn't realize that one of these was a police officer. Alright, well, let me take a look here. I am curious. 115 zombies killed so far. Three days, nine hours. Pretty good. We've... Oh, look, our weight has gone up quite a bit, too. It's a 74. So, not bad. All right, we're going to jump in, into one of these houses and get a drink. I forgot my canteen back at the... Uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. There we go. What else can we get in here? Jeep Wrangler Snorkel. Metal sheet. Uh, Yeah, I could take that. Might use that on those windows. Once we find a torch. A couple wooden chairs. Uh, anything in the garbage bag? bag? Nothing in the garbage bag. Let's head inside the house. Well, let's kill these guys first. Yeah, there's a prepper house. I'll probably check that one out first. Another screwdriver. We don't need those. We're good. Take that watch, though, and take that walkie-talkie. You can break that down, too. There we go. Right. Did I catch a niner? What were you, talking on a walkie-talkie or something? Anybody know what movie that was from? All right, uh, ball cooling. The donkey cart race. Okay, that might lift our spirits a little bit. I'll take one of these books as well, just because our guy is depressed. He's looking for ways to entertain himself. I haven't found any antidepressants yet. Take that. 
think I have this one, but I'm going to take it again anyway. I'm pretty sure I have everything else. I'll take that comic book. T-shirt. Alarm clock. A couple zombies outside. I knew that. But here. Hammer, duct tape, leather gloves. Yeah, let's put those leather gloves on. Take that duct tape. And I'll take another hammer. Yeah, they're coming in. We'll let them all sort of fall in here. Is that it? I hear another one. He's having some issues finding his way in. Oh. Bet I got some nice shoes, buddy. Finally, matches another house key. All right. Well, we got to loot the house and take care of that horde at the same time. It's kind of a win-win. Let's go ahead and eat this. This will increase our happiness a bit. It might probably just take us from severely depressed to depressed. Slight panic, moist, nervous wreck. Let me see here. Still severely depressed. Can I eat any more? That's a question. Stuffed. Ah, no, I can't eat any more. Uh, but we'll take this back to the back to the hotel. Take all of this back too. Now my freezer at the uh, firehouse is pretty small, so I think we're gonna have to upgrade that. Steal one of these and hook it up at some point. Yeah, I think we got everything. Let's go ahead and try to dry ourselves off here. I don't think that bothers us, but, uh, yeah. And we'll get a drink. There we go. So hopefully we can find some antidepressants. And more vitamins. And adhesive bandages. Probably need to, uh, probably need to wash myself off, honestly. So let's do that. That might be affecting us a little bit. done. Let's wash ourselves off. There we go. I don't think the, the blood's probably making us feel too good. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's go up here and check out this house. It's all boarded up there. Let's see if we can find a way in. Might have to come back with a crowbar. Mm, we got one back there. A couple back. Oh, I found myself a trailer. If I can get to it. I don't know how I get to it when it's facing the shed like that, but uh, we can do our best. Come around here and see how many are back here in the backyard. I know there's at least one. There's a couple. And there's a few over here. We're here, another one. Might just be inside the building. Yeah. She's gonna be there for a while, beating her head on that one. I don't think I have a way in unless I can find. Unless I can find a uh, crowbar inside this building here. Otherwise, I gotta go back. Oh, we found ourselves a generator, though. That's a good find. Hot, hotties. A hammer, hammer and a screwdriver. Really close. Well, she's gonna take her a while to break through the uh, boards there. Lug wrench. Oh man. Right. Boredom reduction. Yeah, I'll take all that. Sure. 
another hammer. I don't think we need that. You know what? I think I'm just gonna pick this up and walk it back. Honestly. We'll get that. Might as well grab it while we can. Can I not pick it up? I two way down. Oh, you know what? I think you gotta right click on it. Stand by. Uh, take generator. That's what we need to do. There we go. Now, I think if I hit one, it drops it. Yes. Okay. I just want to be ready in case we have to go into combat mode. All right. Well, we got ourselves a little gener generator. little overweight <laughs> quite a bit overweight but we'll be okay especially since we cleared this whole area out what are we up to now 126 it's amazing how fast they uh, sort of pile up It's nice being able to take control of a whole area like this and not have to freak out about every little step you take. We have this uh, secured a little bit. I need to find a welding torch and a welding mask. Then I can put up uh, that sheet metal that I grabbed on probably this one first. Just add a, make it a little bit more robust. Now they can still, big horde could definitely break through that, no problem. What I'm thinking about doing is parking a car right next to it. Uh, I think they'd be able to maybe break it, but I don't think they'd be able to get into the window. They wouldn't be able to stand up to get into the window. That's my thinking anyway. So, uh, let's not put the generator inside and accidentally start it. Do something like that. Um, so, I'm going to just uh, drop the generator here on the outside. There we go. And we'll go get fuel. fuel for it here um, when we get the chance. Need to find a fuel can still, I think, right? I think. So, okay, let me go back to my... There we go. Take these. Put these over here. Where if I, oh, I took the dish towel with me. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. So, can I dry myself again? I, don't, I guess I don't need to. Um, what else we got here? Well, let's, uh... Put the nails over here, saw, axe, hammer. That's the one I'm wearing. I don't want to get rid of that. I got some leather gloves finally. Can't believe it took me that long to find some gloves. And yeah, we got the pen and eraser and all that stuff. So, all right, what else do I want to get rid of? Let me see what was in the bag. Oh, uh, more watches. Here we go. All right, yeah, we're starting to collect them. Oh, and the walkie-talkies. Still need to find antidepressants. But it's about time to get some sleep, even though we're not super tired. Probably do a little bit of reading before we go to bed. So we got food, we got some VHS tapes. Let's throw the books and stuff in here. I'm going to read this book and... Uh, Probably hotties as well. Yeah. Seems like those two are pretty high when it comes to stress reduction, boredom reduction. Metal sheet, hammer, nightstick, those will all go. Well, the nightstick will go in the in the weapons, but hammer can go over here, metal sheet can go over here. Duct tape as well. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good there. Okay. And nightstick can go over here. Metal work magazine makes small metal sheet. Not really ready to start doing that yet. So put that over there. Potato seed packet. I think that goes in with my tools. I think I, that's where I'm keeping yeah, that's where I'm keeping my seeds. Alright. Yeah. So that's how I got things organized here. And uh, so far it seems to be working pretty well. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, sit on the ground. 
have a little something to eat. Maybe some more ice cream. Try to get rid of this uh, severely depressed as much as we can. Uh, I'll read this while we, after we get done eating, I guess. There we go. Stuffed. Right. He already read that whole thing. Still severely depressed. Get a tad weepy, so we're doing better. And uh, is that all that I have? All I brought with me? Okay. See if we can't do better tomorrow. Maybe we'll get some antidepressants as we uh, clear out all those zombies. There we go. Okay. I'll take some vitamins. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Alright, so 1220. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, oh, let's put our food away first. Sitting there looking at all that food. Yeah, so see, our freezer's only five kilos, so it fills up really fast. So I need to keep, I want to keep almost everything in there, except for cans. Even uh, things like uh, apples, I want to keep them in the freezer because they just keep better, keep longer. So, got vitamins over here. Oh, I just, I forgot that it reduces fatigue. I thought I was just balanced. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. That probably didn't help considering I was about to go to sleep. So, yeah, not the, not the smartest move ever. And, uh, all right. Let's go ahead and see, get some sleep. See when we wake up. Hopefully it's in time for cook show. I'm sure it will be. Probably wake up about, yeah, 4.30. Jocko Willink style. So I'll go downstairs and read another book, probably. Just try to lift my spirits a little bit. Let me see what books are over here, aren't they? Um, there's one, red, one of those red books. Sit on the ground and read it. There we go. Got rid of it. So we're agitated. Still a little jumpy. But uh, other than that, I do need to go find my can opener. I lost it somewhere along along the way here. Oh, you know what else I need? I need to take some. Uh, I need to take a bandage with me. And I need a bottle of disinfectant. There we need to go. I need to definitely have those on hand. Always. I think uh, we'll keep the vitamins with us anyway. That won't hurt. I do have a bottle of water. Okay, good. All right, so the cook show is about to come on. About 50 minutes here. Might do a quick patrol around the block just to make sure everything's okay. I'm looking for my can opener. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. Not sure. Around here somewhere. Yeah, I don't think it's in the weapons. All right. So be it. We'll find it eventually. I think I'll go up here and have some breakfast. Probably more ice cream. Seems to be really helping me pack on the pounds. Let's see, do I have anything else I'd rather have? Oh, that's a fresh pineapple. Might, might not be too bad. But, uh, you know, let's have a soda pop. Because it also helps with the uh, unhappiness. Combat the unhappiness. Uh, burrito. Yeah, see, if it's if it's frozen, it makes you unhappy. But we're going to have a... Uh, yeah, we'll have one of these ice creams. There we go. All right. Cook show should be coming on here shortly. Let's speed things up here a little bit. 
to age and other diseases. There we go. It's like to watch things skill up here. Yeah, we're up to uh, almost almost level four cooking. We're we're about a little past halfway for level three. So, all right, let's get going. So, see, so you're looking at the clock. I think this would probably be a good time to stop. Uh, we're gonna adventure on down. Let me show you real quick. I don't know how far I can show you, but let's see here. So we're going to basically head down this way. There's a strip mall here, and then there's a gas station here. So we're going to basically go down here, clear the way, kind of clear this area out. And then we can drive our car down there, get fuel, hopefully find a fuel can. And uh, that will allow us to bring back gas for the generator and also uh, siphon fuel for other cars and things like that. Maybe upgrade our car. So in, in a, maybe a future uh, episode after after the next one. So that's where we're at now. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little home symbol here for our for our fire station, and I think we can mark off a few of these. So we've uh, hit that one, that one, that one, and that one, and I've hit this one off camera. And we've cleared out this whole area of zombies for the most part. Yeah, it's a pretty good start, I'd say. So I'm looking forward to it. Need to get uh need to I'm gonna have to go on a mission and get some of these uh, open top barrels that they have near the um, refugee site out near the barricades, but uh, we th those will be like instant rain collectors. I think there's five of them there, and if we get that set up on the roof, maybe get some dirt up on the roof, we can start getting some crops going, um, and then kind of make ourselves uh, start working towards getting the second floor. Uh, set up with rope ladders get rid of the stairs so we're completely safe up there and I'm probably going to need to also grab another like a larger couple of uh, freezers so that's sort of the uh, the road map for, for our future if everything goes up, uh, according to plan alright guys well thank you for watching I greatly appreciate it I'll see you in the next one